on the five and take you on the ground there. It's a sig alert. Look what happened to this car. Two cars collided. This one burst into flames and the charred remains are almost unrecognizable. Yeah, and let's get to 10 News reporter Kristen Keel, who's there live. And Kristen, when you see that charred wreckage, it's amazing they even got out. Yeah, and as far as we know, both people are going to survive this. In fact, from what we're hearing, it sounds like they don't even have burn injuries. This is the van that was involved. It's just getting loaded up onto the tow truck, and this van got involved when they hit a sedan that had already hit a tow truck. That sedan, the driver basically became a sitting duck because at about 4 o'clock this morning, he was sitting on the 5 here with a broken leg. So so he couldn't get out of the car. Within about five minutes, the van came along and slammed into him. So we know that the driver of the sedan left here with a broken femur. When we got here, the van was completely on its side. And as you take a look at video, the sedan and the van here both have severe damage from catching on fire. But as far as we know, the occupants were able to get out before flames consumed the vehicles. Looking at the van, we can actually see it was a lab core van. It looks like there are some medical supplies in there, so someone uh, trying to get to work. But at this point, they're in the hospital, and we do hear from Highway Patrol at this point that they did not see any obvious signs of impairment when they talked to the driver of the sedan who triggered this chain reaction on the five, but they tell me it is possible that he may have fallen asleep. We want to show you the backup here. We do have three lanes moving and the highway patrol out here doing an incredible job of cleaning this up quickly before the bulk of the commute gets through here. So we'll continue to stay out here and bring you updates as we learn them. Live in Del Mar, I'm Kristen Keo, 10 News. Thank you, Kristen.